Hey, today I wanna to talk about the Norman NXS. I wanna talk about this for two reasons. One, they just launched a bunch of colors in a limited series run. And two, it's different than any of the other Normans. So now we're gonna go into the anatomy of a crankbait. First, all deep diving crankbaits reach a depth range. They achieve it by swimming to depth, diving to depth, or hard and fast diving to depth. With any of your crankbaits, here's a few things we need to look at. We need to look at the build design, the depth range, the kick out or its deflection characteristic, and the action of the crankbait. By looking at the build, we could determine most of this. Let me go to my dive chart over here. So for example, if I'm talking about a Norman DD-22, this bait swims down to depth. If I'm talking about a bomber fat-free shad, this bait dives down to depth. But if you look at the NXS and its bill design, how it has the little hook in the bill, this bait is a hard, fast diver. It gets right down to business. Let me talk about some of the places and why I like to fish the NXS. Since the NXS is a hard, fast diver, you don't need a monster cast to get it down to depth. So one of the things I like to fish with it are small isolated rock piles because I can be very accurate with a short cast and hit the rock pile. Now, let's talk about the kick out on this bait or the deflection characteristic. So as I drive this bait down into the rock pile, the NXS has a small kick out, which means when I hit the rock and it deflects off the rock, it immediately corrects itself because the bill's a hard diving bill. So it's not gonna go way out around the rock pile. It's literally gonna kick off the rock, deflect, smash back into the rock, small deflection, smack back into the rock, and go on its way. This is a very important feature of this bait because another place that I like to fish this bait is on long, deep flats that have isolated boulders and or stumps. The, the flats that I really cut my teeth on this bait was on the Great Lakes because you'll have a flat that's 15 feet deep and it could be a quarter of a mile long with isolated boulders on it. So what this gives me the ability to do is I can bomb a cast way out there, get it right down to depth, and I am actually ticking the bottom, hitting the rocks all the way back to the boat. There's no wasted cast on that. The next place I like to fish this bait is on river ledges. But here, I'll do something different. I'll actually parallel the break line on the river. So let's say the break line is at 14 feet and then it drops off into the river channel. I will actually parallel right where the break starts. And I'll bomb a cast out there. Another, this is another example of making the long cast and keeping that bait on the side of the river ledge, always in the strike zone. A third place that I like to fish this bait is on standing trees. Now here's the cool thing, not trees that are sticking out of the water, trees that are 12 to 18 feet below the water surface. So what I can do here is I can rifle a cast out there and I can literally get the bait just ticking the tops of the tree branches. Because it dives down immediately to depth, I'm in the trees right away. And the bites are gonna come on the treetops in that situation. That's the beauty of the NXS. Now, there's a bunch of new colors out. You'll be able to go to LureNet, pick out your favorite colors or colors that translate on the lakes in the area where you live and get them now on LureNet.com.